And now to an update on the 21-year-old pregnant mother and her 4-year-old son who were badly burned in a house fire in Detroit's east side. Teresa Tompkins was set to undergo an emergency C-section yesterday after receiving burns on more than 50% of her body. Well, she has since delivered her baby. Action News reporter Malcolm Maddox has been following this story and has an update. Uh, Malcolm, how are the mom and the baby doing tonight? You know, this is a very, very sad story. I spoke to Teresa Tompkins' sister this evening, and she says the situation is not good. Teresa gave birth to a little girl about 1.29 this morning, and I'm told that both mom and baby are fighting for their lives. We're told the baby, little Inali Tompkins, weighed just over six pounds when she was born. She's suffering from complications from being without oxygen for so long. This is while Teresa was struggling to breathe in that smoke-filled room. And Teresa, on the other hand, has undergone two blood transfusions and is currently listed in critical condition. The other victim of this fire, Teresa's four-year-old son, John Topkins, he suffered uh, burns on his arms and on his back, but he is expected to be okay. But in the meantime, the family is in desperate need of any help they can get from clothing or any other donations. They can be all sent to the Pentecostal Church of God in Christ that is on Detroit's east side. Of course, we will continue to follow this story as it develops, and I understand that the uh, sister has even got a picture of the little baby, little Anali, and I am waiting for that to uh, come over right now. Malcolm Maddox, Channel 7, Action News.